Mauricio Pochettino has led Chelsea to three straight Premier League victories and a win tomorrow against Brighton would see him record four in a row for the first time since his arrival. Well, we can hear from the Chelsea boss now. Can I start by getting your injury news, please? Anyone due back? Yeah, I think it was a very good news last, uh, last game. But to have too many players no, back on, the, on track. And I think Chile is really close, but I think it's not 100% uh, maybe to be part of the, the squad. Um, Carne Chukomeca also. Um, yes, I think they both, no? Both that we need to assess if they can be or not part of the, of the squad for tomorrow. But if you know for tomorrow, maybe for the, for the weekend. Could anyone else return before the end of the season, do you think? Sorry? Could any other players return before the end of Another. the season? Another. Now? Anyone else? No, I think not because it's only now uh, Romeo, Lavia, Enzo, Fofana. Fofana, and that's it. Okay. No, um, I think it's, it's a <laughs> very positive thing no, to finish the season with only a few players, you know, inch, and sorry, Robert, Robert Sanchez also. Um, Robert Sanchez is, is, is not fit. Um, but it's good news, good news to recover the player and, you know, and be positive for the next season to start the pre-season with nearly all the players, you know, fit to start the, uh, to train. And this game against Brighton with Manchester United and Newcastle United also playing, do you sense a real opportunity in terms of your European qualification hopes? Yes, I think it's important to keep uh, strong and the men to keep the, the mentality and, and, of course, uh, really believe um, that we can get and then we can get. It's true that it's going to be two really tough games because tomorrow again Brighton is a really very good team and it's going to be really tough to play. And then uh, Bournemouth uh, at home. But always the most important thing is to believe and I think the team is, is doing well. I think the second part of the season or maybe you know, I think the last 26, 27 games, I think we are uh, doing really, really well. Um, yes, we need to keep this uh, with the, in this way, you know, trying to always to give our best and compete, improving. And uh, it's going to be tough, but I think I really believe that we can compete well in the last, in the next uh, two games and, and to have the possibility to get the Europe uh, will be amazing for us. How important is European football next season for you? Will it define your season, do you feel, or has it been successful either way? I don't know, because I think people is talking a lot in this season. People is, you know, talking about many things, too many... I think, if you ask me, you know, and uh, after all the circumstances that we were living in the last 10 months, in case to get the Europe, I think it will be a very, very good uh, thing for, the, for us. Uh, but, like always, you know, we are, we are going to shush people because of the result or, we are because, or we are going to shush people because of the process, putting all the circumstances that we, we were, we were uh, or we, we had. That is a difficult thing to shush because if you, like, uh, I don't want to be repetitive, but I think it's too much the history of Chelsea. It's not going to be, even if winning the, the next two games, it's not going to be a successful season. You know, we want to match the history of, of Chelsea. With all the circumstances, can be a very good season. And are you any clearer on your future beyond this season? Are you able to start planning yet? We are planning. We, were, we are working. And we were working. I think we cannot take uh, some comment from my side, you know, to put in a negative way, because I say, always I try to be negative, uh, positive, and um, being positive only translate, try to translate my feelings, you know, to you, to, to the people. Um, but I never say that, uh, you know, I, uh, I were not thinking in the future. I am, we are thinking in the future, it's all already um, planned, the plan is there to start the precision, the, the data, everything, you know, uh, how we, we are going to start. And, and, uh, and then it's not in my hands, you know, to be here or not to be here. Are you confident with the foundations you've got now after this season? Next season you can push on for the top four, do you feel? I think we need to finish this season. In the moment that we finish this season, to finish in this 
positive way always is important uh, to prepare the next season and if we are capable to finish well and getting you know uh, and to get uh, Europe I think for sure we can start the next season we hope to be in a, in a different position you know that we were in this season thank you Alex I'm Rizzo. hello tomorrow your 50th game in charge of Chelsea just uh, Adrian to told me I told my him. office <laughs> yes she told me. Ah, okay, Sorry. You told him. <laughs> okay that is a good <laughs> connection but looking back at your first season despite the challenges have you enjoyed it I, I really enjoy it because it's too many new things that uh, you know I was living in this football club um, yes really enjoy we are much better now, like uh, coaching staff, I, and, and I think I really enjoy. I really enjoy because uh, if you when you win games, I think you enjoy more. Um, when you have uh, or you had some problem like we had uh, this season, yes, is the proof if you are uh, if if you have the capacity to deal with this all the negative circumstances, and I think. That was a little bit a show from the beginning of the season, and you can, I think, so me during the whole year or the whole season, always I keep my mood, always smiling, always positive, even when when the the team uh, had 14 players out, you know, because of injury, and always I was I was positive, and uh, because it's our our nature. Um, I think is yes to keep this balance is the important thing with experience with the capacity and because we really believe in ourselves is in the way that we need to behave helping always a project that is in a very difficult team in a very difficult uh, season for for everyone and in a new project like to build a new project always is a, a tough situation that you need patience and time.